Hello, my awesome Pisces people. Pisces, I miss you guys so much. Pisces, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Happy Friday, Pisces. I hope you're going to have a beautiful weekend, restful weekend with your loved ones. Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming toward you, Pisces, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? especially in relation to you. Universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on the soulmate journey? How is Pisces currently doing on the soulmate journey and what's coming towards Pisces? This one wants to come out as extra message. Very important. Ooh, you in love with somebody, Pisces. But this is you not really telling this person that you love deeply, that how much you love them. This is you uh, holding back, uh, expressing how you feel. This is you loving someone very deeply. Oh, this, uh, this has been giving you sleepless nights. Problems with communication are showing up here. This is you having problems with this person communicating. Yeah, for some time. Yeah, look at this. This is you having sleepless nights, sad, heartbroken, silent treatments because four of the swords are pointing down. Silent treatments, then few words, then silent treatments. You want to see this person. Some of you already saw this person or will be seeing this person. This is reunion. This is happy reunion. Yeah, this is good. Three of Cups is good energy. Oh, yeah. A lot of things that need to be discussed between you two. You guys are not understanding each other. And that always happens when people don't communicate effectively, when the line of communication is broken. Uh, people start assuming things, guessing things, projecting things. Yeah, you're not sure where this is going. You're not sure. Uh, in just a few minutes, we're going to ask about this person, how they view this. But this is you not sure where this is really going, whether you should hold on or give somebody else a chance. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you have other people interested in you for relationships, all sorts of relationships, all sorts of people here. But you're concentrating your energy on this one particular person that is um, heavily uh, on your mind to a point where you have hard time sleeping. You're not resting. This is, this is you unresolved in this situation. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey. I feel I need to shuffle more. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces in their life. And how is Pisces currently doing on this summit journey? You are absolutely certain that this is the person you want. Yeah, you're not even paying attention to other people that are interested in you. Uh, yeah, people are very interested in you, Pisces, viewing you as attractive, available. So it looks like you're not in a relationship with this person. Yes, you love them, but you two are not in a relationship at this moment, at least. And you realize that what you feel for this person is real, genuine love. Yeah, you see, you have other people, really, a lot of people interested in you, but you're not interested in others right now. Yeah, this is you concentrating energy on this situation right now. Oh, what's going on here? Devil showed up. Hmm. Serious disagreements. Pisces, did you have to tell them off? Yeah, you showing up here as being pissed off, like you had to tell them off uh, or cut them out of your life. You showing up here as very uh, uh, disappointed, guarded, emotionally angry, disappointed. The devil energy showed up. 
Yeah, this is you quiet, not telling this person that you love them or how deeply you love them. Trying to concentrate on your work business, trying to distract your mind uh, from this situation. Yeah, you love this person a lot. You feel bound to them, like you can't release them. You try, you really try letting them go completely. Several times, you, you did, and it's, it's not working. You're still holding on to this person. Yeah. Um, but it looks like they haven't put work into this, you see? They haven't reciprocated. Um, they haven't told you where you stand in their life. Huh. Let me see. We're going to ask about them in about a minute. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces. And how is Pisces currently doing on this soulmate journey? Yeah, you see, you interested, yeah. This person has been in and out of your life, in and out, in and out of your life, more out of your life than in your life, not giving you commitment, not telling you where this is going. Yeah, you walked away from them several times, and it looks like you want a reunion with them. Hmm. You love this person a lot. You, you've left them and came back, left them and came back. Because uh, you're hoping that maybe they'll change their behavior and be more consistent. Let me see what's going on with this person. I'm curious. Let's see. You know what? Please show us the soulmate of Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces. What is currently going on with the soulmate of Pisces universe? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind? regarding Pisces let's see oh yeah they're still the same though we just saw them ask oh something just fell oh my goodness listen this rarely 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 happens so I have to pick it up because it fell face down um we're gonna read this uh at the end of the reading it, it I usually read this these messages in extended videos but it fell down and it uh, when it fell down it flipped over and it it went up uh, face up it's forgiveness so we're going to read this um so they just showed up minutes ago um as knight of wands and here they are knight of wands again from the bigger tarot deck yeah you see this person is still uh wishy-washy still indecisive on uh what to do what not to do yeah especially in position one they're not sure what they want uh, and it's not i don't want you to feel bad thinking it's just you that's how they are they they don't they're not sure what they want in interpersonal relationships they may, may very well be good at the business finances job but uh they're not really serious about commitment at this time at this stage in their life yeah, they're concentrating heavily on work, finances, business, money, making those pentacles. Yeah, they don't express emotions. They they feel them deeply, but they, they're scared of expressing emotions. Very attracted to you physically, drawn to you. But honestly, attraction, physical attraction is going to burn out eventually. Attraction is not enough. To have a healthy relationship you need both passion and love you can't just have passion because it will burn out on its own you have to have both they want to see you this person wants to see you yeah you want to see them they want to see you let's see universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of pisces there could be any sign whatsoever all signs are popping up here you know please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces and how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces especially emotionally oh what's going on they heartbroken this is them deeply heartbroken okay so that is making more sense uh, the reason why this person is so wishy-washy with you it, it's not really anything to do with you it's their past yeah now it's making sense what the, why this card um, 
flipped over and fell down. It's because this person is holding on to resentment, anger, unforgiveness, grudges from past relationships that they haven't healed from. And that emotional baggage they're holding on is directly affecting how they're connecting with you. So this is for them. This is for them. And you need to see this because you are not to take this personally. Like there's something wrong with you and that's why they're not offering relationship to you, offering you love. It's not to do with you. It has to do with the past that they haven't released. They're holding on to grudges, resentment anger, unforgiveness. So we're going to read this at the end of the reading. This person is holding on to heartbreak from the past. They're not healing. They're not releasing. They're not forgiving the past. They're concentrating heavily on their work business. Uh, this person likes to do too much at work so they don't have to think about their past. They're not releasing the past. They just put a band-aid over their heart and said, oh, it's going to be fine. No, they have to deal with this. They have to release it. They have to work through it in order to forgive the past. Yeah. This person is waiting to see what you're going to do. They've been waiting. Yeah, you met them for a reason. You two were supposed to meet. You have extensive soul history from past lifetimes. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Here you see lion's face. Hmm. But they could be any sign whatsoever. Also, very strong Aquarius, Aries, Aries again. Oh, they in love with you. My goodness. This person uh, hides from you how deeply they love you. They're scared that it's going to end up in a uh, breakup, just like their past relationships. This person needs to uh, release the past because their past that they're holding on to is directly sabotaging their connection with you. Yeah, I see. Uh, believe it or not, they want long-term commitment. Deep down inside, they are yearning for long-term commitment. But they need to release the past first. They want to see you face to face. Yeah, they know that there's going to be changes in their life. This person is going to go through major changes, unavoidable changes in their life the next two years beyond their control, uh, divinely ordered. They won't be able to just uh, get away from the changes. No, it's absolutely necessary for their soul's growth. Yeah, to grow spiritually, emotionally, they need to go through this rebirth, regeneration, spiritual rebirth, the way they view relationships, the way they communicate, the way they express feelings. They absolutely have to go through it. It's for their own good. It's going to be challenging emotionally because they've been resisting this change, which is absolutely necessary for them. Um, hmm. Let's read this. This person wants to see you. So they know they love you, but they're hiding it from you or hiding how deeply they love you. This just fell out. Yeah, they're holding on to resentment from the past. Yeah, see, this is them uh the, their unhealed emotional wounds from the past the heartbreak they holding on to is sabotaging their relationships in their personal life with other people including you see this person loves you deeply uh they're gonna go through this major rebirth absolutely necessary and they're gonna see clearly what they need to do they're gonna be able to leave behind this uh toxic energy that's been manipulating uh, their life and their relationship. You see, this is not good. Uh, this is the best card in the whole deck. They're going to see clearly after rebirth, this uh, spiritual rebirth, they're going to see clearly what they need to do and what's been holding them back. Their own fear is holding them back. Uh, they need to communicate. They don't like to communicate. They don't like to initiate communication. Yeah. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. Yeah, I see. Uh, they know they haven't put work into this. They know that. They realize it, which is a good thing. That means hopefully they'll do something about it. Look how greatly unbalanced the scales are. They know they have not put work into this. Yeah, they love you deeply, but are not telling you, showing you. At least not yet. 
Yeah, they feel a lot of guilt. They feel they lost you because of them, because they didn't put work into this. This is them feeling a lot of guilt, regret, sadness, heartbreak, not sleeping. They view you as very attractive, independent, strong-willed, not needing them for anything. Look how beautiful your energy is, Pisces. Beautiful energy, whether you're male or female. You're also not sleeping. Uh, hmm. This is them. This is them. This message is for them. But we're supposed to read it so you understand that uh, the reason why they're not offering you love and relationship, long-standing relationship, is because they are so um, deeply hurt from the past and they're not allowing themselves to heal. You see, the, this unforgiveness they're holding on to, this resentment, anger from the past is directly affecting their connection with you. Yeah. Yeah. And how they show you feelings, how they communicate with you. Archangel Jophiel is called the Holy Liberator. Forgiveness is their message. So this message is for them, but you are supposed to hear it so you understand them better. When you draw this message, Archangel Jophiel is asking you to release the negative feelings of the past. To let go of the substance of the pain that stops you from living a life of unlimited joy and love. Forgiveness doesn't mean you accept inappropriate behavior towards yourself. It means that you no longer are prepared to carry the pain of reaction within you. When we hold unforgiveness in our hearts, we may be stabbed by bitterness. Let Archangel Jophiel take this burden from you. Yeah. So they have to do a lot of inner work uh, to find a way to forgive and release the past. Yeah. Um, Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's new chapters, new beginnings in your life, new soulmates, or your health, finances, business, job, opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.